But first, public relations guru David Landis wines and dines with his clients all around the city. But his personal favorite is also one of the most iconic. From playful seals to stunning sunsets, his spot has it all. A site brimming with San Francisco history, it's Sutro's at the Cliff House. We pretend that we don't have a view and we have to be successful on the quality of the food, the service, and the ambiance. The fact that we get the view on top of this should be an added bonus. My name is Ralph Birkin. I work at Sutro's at the Cliff House in San Francisco. The first Cliff House was built in 1863 and it burned down in 1907. It was rebuilt by Emma Sutro in 1909 and we had a major innovation that restored the original part over in the bistro side and opened up this part here called Sutro's. There's three generations of my family here. My in-laws who are the owners, they've been here for about 45 years. I've only been here for about 20 years and my son joined the company about five years ago. We've had couples here that uh, had their first date here, and I remember one instance that this couple came back 70 years later to celebrate the anniversary. And for them, we, made, we recreated the menu from that time, and we charged the same prices for it too. We are partners with the National Park Service. We are part of the Golden Gate National Recreation Area. And as such, we have common goals like preserving the area, the environment, uh, sustainability is important to us. It makes me feel really good to know that I try to contribute to keep this the way it is. All right, David, this place is truly a landmark in San Francisco. It is. Sutro's at the Cliff House has been around forever, and it has it's about 1863. So oh, that's my a gosh. So long it's time. one of the oldest restaurants right. probably the in the property. country. Mm -hmm. And I think that the food really matches the view, which is not typical for a view restaurant. Uh, the fish is fresh. Even the chef brings in produce that he gardens up in uh, the wine country. Chef Ralph actually has, grows tomatoes. Yes, it's, we had some of those mm -hmm, in the summertime. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we went out there, it was at night, and I would suggest going at sunset so you can have the benefit of the view. But we went and we started with the Caribbean Passion, a personal favorite of mine. I love rum drinks. And on, here's a tip, on Tuesdays, they have half price wine oh, bottles. Oh yes, they do. So if you go on a Tuesday, you get a $60 bottle of wine for $30, right. which is what we did. We started with the foie gras terrine, and it was like a piece of artwork on the plate. It was creamy, it was delicious, it was mm. so tasty. I know a lot of people don't eat foie gras, but I do, and it was <laughs> Me great. Me too. Yeah, okay, good. <laughs> and then uh, my husband had the white gulf shrimp tempura, which was phenomenal and kind of a Vietnamese vinaigrette dressing. Mm -hmm. It just had the right amount of heat and spice. It was really, really delicious. Mm -hmm. We started with the crab cakes and they were really good because so many places put a lot of filler into the crab cakes. Mm -hmm. But once you cut into them, you could just tell it was just pure Dungeness crab, which was great. Mm -hmm. They were really small which sucks because you want way more, but they had a real... You can always order another one. Crunchy, <laughs> right? We almost did, we almost did. They had a real crunchy panko breading, so mm. they like fried them to they were real brown and golden and it kind of gives like the little jaggedy, crispy edges on the outside. There was um, like an aioli on the top, but there wasn't enough. It could have been a lot more acidic because you know like that crab needs to kind of be brightened up because it's real sweet and it can be kind of rich. Mm -hmm. I also had the crab cakes, which mm -hmm. I thought were really good, mm -hmm. but I never really get crab cakes, so my bar is, there is no bar. But I was. <laughs> well, you just set the bar now. I set the bar. And I what did you bar. like about them? Um, even though they were small, they were substantial. Mm. And the breading was really good. They were very tender. Uh, and then we also got the lox dish, mm. which, you know, like I'm from New York. My, my ideas of lox <laughs> are pretty. Jewish, and this was <laughs> a uh, just like a very thinly sliced smoked salmon creme fraiche, very light, very insubstantial. So I think that it didn't really pair with the crab. So they do very smoke well. their own salmon there. Mm. Wow. Yeah, it takes four wow. days for wow. Chef Ralph to. My smoke mother salmon. would be proud. <laughs> <laughs> My mother would say too expensive. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. All right, let's go to main course. Yes. So for the main course, one of the things that I love there, it's a bacon encrusted yep. Scottish salmon. Mm -hmm. Did you have that I too? Did. So the salmon was cooked 
perfectly, medium rare. Yeah. It was yeah. fresh, fresh, fresh. I think they were serving it with some kind of spinach or something. Yeah. And I said, you know, I'm not fond of spinach. Could I have the broccolini? Mm -hmm. No problem. Mm -hmm. I like a restaurant that allows mm -hmm. substitutions. I think that's important. Then my husband had the pistachio crusted pork chop, which was <sighs> so great. That pork chop. It was a little trafe, but it was good. <laughs> it was chop. so good. <laughs> well, Eliana's over there going, y'all. They should just rename that? Sutro's the pork chop house. Isn't it amazing? <laughs> the pork it's, chop. You really go for I the still dreaming you know. about that pork chop. I, so I went with two other friends, mm -hmm. and one ordered the steak, and one ordered the pork chop, and I ordered the salmon. Mm -hmm. But you know, we all took bites off of each other's plate, and I took a bite of her pork chop, and I almost ordered another <laughs> pork chop. I was like, I don't want to be this person, but I need to have this pork chop again in my life. See, this soon. is when you do the trick. Oh, look over there! <laughs> it was just—it was big, but it was so savory, and it yes. had like the crust on the outside, but it was perfectly pink on the inside. It was moist. <sighs> so I went with. Uh, my husband and two friends, and we all shared a variety of things. So we shared the risotto, the sole, the bacon crusted salmon, and then the steak. Okay. Of all of those things, I thought the sole was the best. As far as like seafood freshness, it had a very crispy layer on the outside, and someone came over to our table and like very impressively, like a like a magician, like <laughs> deboned it in one powerful mm -hmm. swoop. It was really lemony, and the lemon flavor permeated the vegetables that were on the side too, and the flavor were just very like refreshing mm -hmm. and then the steak was totally it was totally fine it was like a nice fancy steak the bacon crusted <laughs> salmon I think my expectations were too high yeah. and it was on top of a, a bed of mashed potatoes yeah. uh -huh. which I thought was just kind of like any restaurant anywhere. Oh, come on, I always love those mashed potatoes. <laughs> I mean, I am mean, I'm, I'm <laughs> behind you, the plate was empty. Yeah, yeah right, right. I'm only really human, like I love potatoes, but to me, for that level, for the level of, of showmanship that I expected from Sutro, I You wanted something, something different. Like, uh -huh. A little more elevated. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, and what about the salad? Um, we ordered the Caesar salad. Mm -hmm. I love when they serve a Caesar salad, it's like the whole leaf. So it's like real long and elegant. It's not chopped up and everybody's kind of muddling around to try to scrape it onto their plate. <laughs> Many of us, we just picked it up with our hands and put it on our plates, but it had- I um, like you. <laughs> I they, go out to eat with one you. of our <laughs> friends is keto, so she asked for the croutons to be put on the side, yeah. and they totally did that for us. And then they grated the Parmesan cheese on top, but the cheese was so fine, it looked like, you know, little snowflakes on top. And it was just savory wow. and grassy, and you felt like you were eating healthy, but you know that you're not. <laughs> <laughs> it's delicious. That's one of the best descriptions of a Caesar salad. Because <laughs> yeah. no one yeah. serves Caesar salad in a whole leaf lettuce like that. Let's yeah. talk about what you had to drink with your meal. Their wine list is actually very well priced. It's incredible. You can get a bottle of really nice wine under $30, right. a bottle. Right. So there are well priced, and then you've got half price on Tuesday on night. Tuesdays. So you can you go know, and have a bottle of Opus One with lunch. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things that really bugs me is when you go to a San Francisco restaurant and all the bottles of wine are more than $100. Yeah, it's come just on. like, please, we're right here in wine country. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the thing about Sutro's is it's all California yeah, it's all wines. California. It's really curated well. Mm -hmm. We had the cake bread Sauvignon Blanc, mm -hmm. and I think it's a delicious wine. Mm -hmm. um, I ordered dessert because I feel like you had to. You were. I, I had to. I'm on. I'm on PBS. I got to dessert. <laughs> so uh, we. Otherwise, had, I can't say. And how were those desserts? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so we had the passion fruit uh, creme brulee, which Ooh. was a mashup of ingredients. It was a shortbread and then also tapioca balls, like mm -hmm. almost like boba esque. Mm -hmm. And I think to me, it kind of epitomized some aspects of the menu that were confusing to me, which was you know, sutro seemed to be like seafood, but then with Asian. Mm -hmm. sometimes but mm -hmm. not all the time but that being said I think I, I might have enjoyed the dessert more than anything because I really liked the strange juxtaposition of textures and flavors <laughs> we had their butterscotch pot de creme mm -hmm. which is real butterscotch mm -hmm. and the server explained it's made with single malt scotch Oh, it's nice. the original recipe. It had orange zest. You must <clears throat> have the butterscotch pot de creme if you go to Sutro's. Right. So delicious, so rich, 
you can diet the next day. Right? <laughs> and this place yeah. is a destination for yeah. folks. What did you think about the service? And the service was great. Right. They were efficient without being intrusive. And what about price? For a <laughs> night out on the town, I think in San Francisco these days, that's yeah. kind of a deal. So I think Sutro's is a fine dining experience. Although, though Molly was over there. <laughs> no, 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 no way. No way. I felt no. like my wallet turned to yeah. sand yeah. after the meal. Yeah. Like it was, I went with teachers and I felt mm -hmm. guilty for inviting well, I'm not saying it's not friends. expensive. I'm saying that's about the average price. No way. Try a different restaurant. Like, but didn't I, you think it was a good value? <laughs> no. No. Because, no, because yeah. we got there and it was already mm -hmm. dark. So we and weren't it able really to see is anything. something yeah. spectacular yeah. when it you is. have the view. For brunch, yeah. it would be a much better value. And they do a champagne brunch. Yeah, yeah. They do, they do a champagne I, Sunday brunch. I, it, yeah. I yeah. imagine the brunch value is much better. Yeah. But yeah. for dinner, there is no view. Mm. Yeah. All right, David, your spot, wrap it up for us. So Sutro's is where the food actually matches the view. And Molly? Uh, for brunch with a wealthy benefactor, try Sutro's. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and Ileana. Um, if you want to be reminded that classic is timeless, visit Sutro's. All right. Mm -hmm. If you would like to try Sutro's at the Cliff House, it's on Point Lobos Avenue at the Great Highway in San Francisco. The telephone number is 415-386-3330. It's open for lunch and dinner every day. Reservations are recommended. And the average dinner tab per person without drinks is around $60. Check Please Bay Area is made possible by the members of KQED and by... <music> Oakland International Airport. Now with flights all over the world. iFlyOAK.com IRG has thousands of surfaces in stock now. Surfaces. Selection. Service. IRG at MarbleCompany.com. Total Wine & More, offering more than 8,000 wines, 2,500 beers, and 3,000 spirits. Total Wine & More, now with eight Bay Area locations. TotalWine.com. Sutter Health CPMC announcing its newly opened Mission Bernal Hospital with all private rooms and comprehensive labor and delivery services. SutterHealth.org slash Mission Bernal. Redwood Credit Union, community banking for the North Bay and San Francisco. Business and personal, online and mobile, plus nationwide ATMs. Banking for people who call this place home.